In today's video, I'll be finding out which of the new units is the best on Endless Mode in Toilet Tower Defense. I'll be testing out all five new units, and whichever unit makes it the furthest on Endless Mode will be considered the best new unit. So I'll be starting with the most common unit, the Shadow TV Man, and working our way up all the way to the Scientist Clock Man. I mean, this thing literally only has 11 existing right now. So definitely watch until the end to see how far we can get with that unit. But before we begin, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe so I can hit 200,000 subs before the end of the year. Definitely subscribe as it's free and you can always change your mind later on. And also join my Discord server because at 5,000 members, we're going to be giving away a free engineer to one of you guys. We're about 400 members away, so the link will be in the description. But yeah, let's unequip all and equip the Shadow TV Man. And we're also going to bring a Santa TV Man for this to give all units an equal shot at getting the furthest. But yeah, without any more waiting, let's hop into our our first match right now here we go but yeah this is one of the coolest units in my opinion i'm excited to see how it looks in game oh yeah and for this challenge i'm gonna be auto skipping the entire time but yeah while recording this this already has 25,000 existing and the update has only been out for about two hours anyway as soon as it skips one more time we're gonna place it down right about here in fact let's use our extra money ability and we're gonna place it right here and yo look how cool this thing looks already on level one it's super buff too that's super cool but yeah when you first place it down it does 1000 damage has 20 range and a cooldown of 0.5 all right in fact now that it's skipped again we're gonna upgrade it to level two on level two it does 2000 damage has an extra five range and still a cooldown of 0.5 but yeah let's see how it goes against the first boss yeah it's already shredding through it and it's dead but yeah for now i'm gonna focus on maxing out my farms so yeah there's our first farm maxed out and our our second one and finally our last one now we'll definitely focus on maxing out the shadow tv man but on level three it has 30 range and now a cooldown of 0.25 on level four it does 4500 damage has a range of 35 and a cooldown of 0.2 and now it actually looks like it has one of its blades on its shoulder and speakers that pop out of its tv but yeah this should be the final upgrade so yeah there we go we maxed it out when maxed out it does 7400 damage has 50 range and then a cooldown of 0.2 this thing is actually really good for a mythic i'm not gonna lie but yeah i guess for now we'll place a ton of these guys down and then max them all out one by one so yeah i placed another three and now let me max out each one so there's the second one and the third one and finally the fourth one now we'll definitely place another three down and max out these guys next but yeah here's the wave 30 boss let's see if we can take it out okay yeah that's not even a question we already Already got it but yeah there's five and six and seven in fact now i think i'm gonna place the last 10 of these guys down and max them all out one by one i think we'll also do a little time lapse of me doing so so yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit Alright, pause the time lapse for a second. We made it all the way to wave 50 and now we're versing the giant smooth toilet. I'm actually really surprised that we're making it this far with only one mythic. But yeah, we only have another three to max out as well. So yeah, let's see if we can beat this giant smooth toilet. Four million, three million, two million, one million. And we actually got it. Let's go. I guess we'll just max out these last two right here. And then we'll sell our farms as well. Let's see if we can get fully maxed out before we lose. Unfortunately, it only takes one rocket for them to get stunned. I think that's one of the only downsides to this unit, though. But yeah, we got one more to max out now. Unfortunately, it does look like a lot of our TV men are getting stunned now. And some stuff is making it pretty far. Yeah, might be over for us in a second. We're barely hanging on. But yo, as soon as it gets unstunned, I'll be able to max out this last one. And there we go. We maxed ourselves out. Unfortunately, yeah, these stupid military rocket launcher toilets keep on stunning our TV, man. Over half of them are stunned right now. Yeah, it looks like we are about to lose at last. Wait, maybe not. We might actually be fine. Hold up. Yeah, we got all the boss toilets. Now it's just these and then these lasers over here as well. Dude, we're actually making it all the way to wave 60 right now. This is crazy. Okay, yeah. Now we're gonna lose. GG's. But yeah, it looks like we made it all the way to wave 60 with this. Not bad at all. I mean, I guess I'll sell all three of my farms and then place another three Shadow TV Man right about here. But unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna make a big enough difference for us to not lose. 
But yeah, there we go. We placed all three of them down. Actually, hold up. It actually might make a difference. We're actually doing surprisingly good with placing only these three down. Yeah, there's only three toilets left. And dang it, looks like one finally got by. GG's. So yeah, all the way to wave 62 with this. Not bad at all. 54 waves beaten. Up next, we do have the streamer cameraman. This thing currently has 21,000 existing, so it's a little bit more rare than the shadow TV man. But yeah, let's also equip a Santa, and let's hop right into the next match. Here we go. It looks like this thing is similar to the engineer cameraman, but it also heals units as well, apparently. So yeah, I'm excited to see what this thing does. And I think we're going to place it right at the very end. So right about here. And yo, that's cool. It deploys streamer drones. That's actually really cool. I like the design on this unit. It's very unique for sure. Unfortunately, it does take a bit of time for it to deploy new units down. That's definitely one of the biggest downsides to this unit. I think we'll place the second one down right about here. That way we don't take too much damage. So yeah, on level one, it has 2000 HP. Yo, what the hell? You too many streamer, no more. So yeah, that means we can only place a total of three down. That's actually funny. But yo, it looks like we're actually gonna take some damage. Oh no. No, we need to deploy more things quickly. Okay, there we go. We have something else now. And yo, this thing does 5,000 health. It's a large streamer drone. And it does DPS. That's really good. So yeah, now that we have all of our farms as level 5, I'll definitely focus on upgrading these a lot more. I mean, especially because we're only down to 190 health now. So yeah, now they're all level 2. And yo, it looks like we have 3 stacked up right now. That's actually pretty good. Let's upgrade the first one to level 3 now, though. And another one to level 3. Three. On level 3, it spawns these large streamer drone V2 with 15k health on them. Let's upgrade the final one to level 3 now as well. And yo, we got them all the way to over here now. Not bad at all. But yeah, now let's upgrade the first one to level 4. And this is actually when it's maxed out. So when maxed out, it spawns these mega streamer drones with 40,000 health. And each of them do 5,000 damage per second as well. This thing is actually a pretty cool unit. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, let's max out the second one. But yeah, let me just make Make sure, yeah, we can't place any more down. That's really annoying. So yeah, I guess we're pretty much fully maxed out now. We've cleared up everything up until all the way over here, though. Not bad at all. I'm excited to see what wave we can get to with this unit for sure. But yeah, we're already on wave 20 with the Mutant Toilet 2.0. Let's see if we can defeat this thing with our drones. Alright, here it comes. Let's see if we can defeat it. And yo, we're actually shredding through it right now. Yeah, it's about to die already. Let's go. That was way too easy, bruh. But yeah, these mega streamer drones are getting pretty close to the end. We might even be able to not take any damage with them. Alright, I think I spoke a little bit too soon. We're taking a little bit of damage with a few of them. But yeah, as more die, more keep on getting deployed. You pretty much have an infinite supply of these things. But yeah, now they're all the way up to here. Okay, some stuff is starting to get by a little bit further than normal now. But hey, we made it all the way to wave 30. Let's go. What's cool is that these ones over here can shoot all the way across. And then same with this one right here. It can shoot all the way to here. But yo, some stuff is getting really far right now. We actually might lose in a second. Yeah, they got all the way to over here now. We are definitely gonna lose in a second, unfortunately. But let's see if we can take out the wave 30 boss. We might not even be able to attack it at all. Oh wait, never mind. It's it's gonna go in the front now. Let's see if we can take it out. 73%. 70. And yeah, it looks like we are unfortunately gonna lose. GG's. All the way to wave 26 though. Not horrible. Up next on the list, we do have the future clock man with a little bit less than existing. And as always, we'll bring a Santa TV in with us. And yeah, let's hop into the next match right now. So yeah, I'll just see you guys when we place it down. Unfortunately, we do have to use our money ability already. But yeah, this thing is super expensive to place. Luckily, we didn't die right away, though. In fact, I think the best strategy for this unit is actually to place all of them down at first and then max them all out one by one. Mainly because its cooldown doesn't go down at all and its range only increases by 10. What's good about this unit is that it actually slows by 55%. But the biggest flaw with this unit is that it's single target, unfortunately. But yeah, we literally shredded through that first boss.
Wait, did you guys just see that? It took out everything. What the hell? That was really weird. But yeah, there's our first farm maxed out. And our second. And finally our third. As soon as it skips again, I'm just gonna start placing a ton of these guys down. So yeah, now that it skipped, we'll start placing them each down. And there we go. We placed all of them down. We pretty much instantly kill whatever comes in range. Yeah, we're literally spawn killing right now. In fact, I might as well sell the one back here. That way we can place it up front right about here. And now I guess we'll just max out each one one by one. So yeah, when maxed out, it does 60,000 damage, has 50 range, a one second cooldown, and then does 55% slowly. Not bad at all. And yeah, I guess for now we'll just do a long time lapse of me maxing out every single one of them. So I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, some stuff is kind of getting far now, but this thing is actually really good. I mean, wave 56, and whenever it does that green attack like you just saw, it literally takes out all of the low health toilets. Like, it does 500,000 DPS every single time it does that green attack. And it does damage to every single toilet that's in range of it. So yeah, this thing is definitely really good. Unfortunately, though, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fully max myself out. But yo, here's the ultra laser toilets that we lost to last time. Let's see if we can get them this time. I mean, they have a lot of health, but if we get enough of these green laser attacks, we might win. It's definitely gonna be close, though. There's still so much health left. We need, like, one or two green laser attacks if we want to get these. Just one more unit left. It has one million. Come on. Hey, we got them. Let's go. And it actually appears like these things can't get stunned either. That's really good. Okay, but now we might be dead. There's still so much health left, and yeah, I think we're unfortunately dead here. I mean, this thing still has 3 million health. Yeah, it looks like it finally got by. GG's. But yeah, this might be our new best. I could be wrong, but it was definitely close if it is. So yeah, GG's, unfortunately. All of this stuff got so low, but yeah, we lose. And GG's. Wave 58, though. I think this is our new best. So yeah, that actually is our new best. Wave 58. The final two units we have left is the golden future large clock man, and then finally the scientist clock man. So yeah, let's try out the Golden Future Clockman right now. And yo, I almost forgot my Santa. Let me equip it real quick. Now we're good to go. This thing does cost 2,500 to place, so it's definitely expensive. But it has 100 range, which is absolutely crazy. So yeah, I'll just see you guys when we place it down, if we even can. Alright, let's use our extra money ability, and we're gonna actually have to sell one of our farms to place this thing down. We'll place it right here, though. That was way too close. But at least we placed placed it somewhat decent. I guess we'll place back our third farm as well. But yeah, back to upgrading for now. And there we go. By wave 21 this time, we maxed out our farms. It definitely took a second because of how expensive this thing was to place. But yeah, since this thing literally has a 100 range, we're just gonna place it right about here and max out each one one by one. So yeah, like last time, I'll just start by placing a few down and then we'll focus on maxing out one by one. And there we go. We're gonna place the final one right about here. So yeah, time to max out each one one by one. And yo, this thing is actually crazy. 100 range covers an entire map. So yeah, when maxed out, it does 115,000 damage a hit. Has 100 range, a cooldown of one second, and to top it all off, it slows toilets by 60%. This thing is way better than its normal version for sure. So yeah, I guess now we'll just do a long time lapse of me maxing out every single one of these. I'll see you guys in a second. And yo, we're already on wave 60 and the boss just spawned in. We're actually doing really good. We're still spawn killing. I mean, we're literally shredding through every single toilet that even gets close. And we're only like 40% of the way to being maxed out. So yeah, back to the time lapse. Okay, I think we're finally dead by wave 83. All this stuff has a ton of health still. I mean, maybe not because it goes all the way to over here. But yeah, it's definitely gonna be close. We're not even fully maxed out yet. We still have a few left to go. I mean, maybe if we get enough of these green lasers to go out, we might be fine. Yeah, it actually looks like we're completely fine because they always reach all the way over here. Dude, we might even make it all the way to wave 100, which is crazy. I mean, we're pretty 
pretty much clearing out everything. All that there's left is all the way to here now. But yeah, I actually think I forgot to use my ability last time, so I'll definitely use it this time. But yeah, wave 90 boss. Let's go. We're actually destroying everything right now. We're doing really good. I mean, we're almost fully maxed out now. In fact, I think we are actually. Yeah, it looks like we maxed out every single one of these that we have placed right now. Oh wait, I actually found one that we're missing. I'll max out this one real quick. But yeah, here we go. The wave 90 boss. Let's see if we can take it out. 30 million. 20 million. 10. And we got it. Let's go. We're actually doing so good for only being a godly. So yeah, there we go. Now we're fully maxed out. All of these that are left are all level 5. I mean, it's only these smooth toilets, and then the toilets go all the way to over here. I think now we need to save up for $120,000 before we can place and max our final 3. But yeah, I think we're actually gonna be able to make it all the way to wave 100, which is insane. But yeah, wave 100 let's go i'd be really surprised if we're able to take out the wave 100 boss but you never know i'm saying that mainly because this stuff is getting all the way to over here now yeah it looks like some stuff is finally gonna leak by but it really doesn't matter because we have all around attacking right now but yeah we've already done over 10 million damage to the dj toilet 2.0 because of the green laser attack this thing is actually crazy good but yeah once we kill these turkey toilets right here it should start targeting this dj toilet 2.0 0.0. So yeah, any second now it'll start attacking. And there we go. Now everything's targeting the DJ toilet. I think now we're gonna sell all three of our Santas, and then we'll place the final three goldens right about here and max out each one. And yo, I think I sold a little bit too early. Yeah, we still need 4,000 to max ourselves out. So yeah, now we're maxed out. This is crazy though. Wave 106 fully auto skippy. And yeah, we were actually able to get the DJ toilet 2.0 let's go i guess i'll see you guys when it's wave 110 okay yeah i think we're actually dead these dj toilet 2.0 still have 80 million health i mean maybe we're able to clutch out of this but it's definitely gonna be close but yeah we made it all the way to wave 110 and yo we actually might be fine i think we're definitely gonna use our time stop ability only if it gets really bad though yeah it looks like we were actually able to kill these dj toilet 2.0s that's insane this unit is actually crazy bro i can't lie but yeah now i think we're dead i mean i guess we could definitely use our ultra time stop ability but i don't think it's gonna be enough unfortunately in fact i think i'm just gonna use it right now so yeah unfortunately it looks like we are about to die ggs though wave 115 fully auto skipping is crazy so yeah we lose in three two one and ggs that's crazy though. Wave 108 fully auto skipping. I've done multiple challenges like this before, and this is by far the best one. Dude, this thing is actually crazy good. But yeah, finally we do have the scientist clock man. It did gain a little bit more existing, but it's still by far the rarest unit in the game. So yeah, let's also equip our Santa TV man and hop into a game with this thing. Here we go. This thing is a farm on its own, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. We'll definitely place these down when we can. The Santa TV man farm is slightly better still. It does get 500 more per wave, but this thing does deploy allies with 600,000 health on them. So yeah, as soon as it skips, we'll place it right about here. And let's place it. And yo, apparently it actually is a barrier. I'm actually curious to know if these barriers spawn troops with them on top sort of similar to the scientist tv man but yeah i guess for now we'll place our second scientist right about here and then continue upgrading our farms for now and yo it actually does spawn units that do dps so i think we're actually gonna scratch this run that way we can place them a little bit better like towards the center so yeah i'll just rejoin real quick okay there we go we're back in so yeah we'll place it right about here this should be a little bit better of a spot and i think we'll place the second one right behind it so yeah we when you first place it, it has a cooldown of regenerating for 30 seconds, and then it has a barrier with 3,000 health on it. And it gives you 200 cash per wave, which is actually pretty solid. So yeah, as soon as we get enough, we'll upgrade both of these to level 2. So there's the first one, and there's the second one. On level 2, it has 10,000 health, and now it gives 500 cash per wave. So yeah, I guess now we'll upgrade both to level 3. On level 3, it has 50,000 health, and gives 750 income. And now it 
actually has a large clock man in the center. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, there we go. We maxed out our final farm. Now I'm definitely gonna focus on maxing out both of these. So yeah, now they're both level 4, and they have 200,000 health each. In fact, as soon as it skips one more time, I think we'll be able to max it out. So yeah, let's max it out right now. And yo, this thing is actually sick. It has two clock women right here, a scientist right here, and has 600,000 health on it. In fact, as soon as it skips one more time, we'll be able to max out the second one as well. I definitely want to find out if I can place multiple. So yeah, now that it's maxed out, I think we're gonna sell one of our Santas, and let's see if we can place another one. This is the ultimate test. We'll place it right here, and we can. Let's go. So yeah, there's the third one maxed out. In fact, let's also test if we can place another one down. And dang it, we can't. So yeah, it appears like the max for placing the scientist clock man is three. We might as well sell our other farm because we don't really need it because we can't even place any more down. So yeah, let's see how far we can get with these three right here. But yeah, there we go. Wave 30. Let's see if we can take out the wave 30 boss. We are definitely starting to take a lot of damage now, so this is gonna be close. So yeah, here we go. And yeah, we were able to. It took out one of our barriers, though. That's not good. In fact, yeah, I think we're actually already about to lose. Never mind, that was close, though. Yeah, this thing is actually pretty garbage, I'm not gonna lie. Like, what the hell? It just went all the way through that. But yeah, it does look like we are about to lose. GG's. So yeah, I guess we lose in 3, 2, 1, GG's. Only wave 30 with this one. But yeah, that pretty much decides it that this is by far the best new unit to be released. In fact, I think this thing is so good that it could probably even be used for endless mode. But yeah, only time will tell that one. If you guys want to see me do an endless video with this unit, definitely let me know. And I'll try to get past wave 200 with it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Again, definitely make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Peace out, everybody.